G'day guys, Pete from WA Camping Adventures. Welcome back to another review. It's a beautiful morning up in the Perth Hills here, so I thought I'd nip up here nice and early in the morning and do a couple of reviews. I think it's about time that I review my Drifter drawers that I've owned for about th well over three years now, so, and they've definitely stood the test of time. So let's get stuck in this review. I'll show you a bit around them and everything and how I've configured them, and uh, we'll do the pros and cons in a second. Enjoy. Righto, here they are. I thought I'd let you guys know that these dividers, I've put them in myself um, as it works better for my setup, my personal setup, and it worked out bloody perfect. Um, but these little dividers here, the ones that are a little bit better upholstered than mine, <laughs> they come with it and you can, um, it's just two little screws and then you can move it uh, according to your own setup. So in my left side, I've got all my pretty heavy stuff in the larger drawer my camp oven and all um, my heavy cast iron pan and everything and all my tent pegs uh, cutlery and drinks and sun cream and all that stuff and then my right drawer the smaller one I like to use for my um, pantry now the other feature that I've always loved about the drifter drawers is the inbuilt um, table the slide out table the amount of times that I've used this thing mate and it's just come in handy without setting up a bloody table you know out here and taking up time it's so bloody good. Now, I, it's, I've got the aluminium. I'm pretty sure that's an added extra, the aluminium um, checker plate um, edging there. And I'll tell you what, I'd recommend anyone to get that because it has the amount of things that I've rubbed on that that would have just peeled back the carpet is unbelievable, and it's paid for itself over and over. I also got the uh, fridge divider there. Um, as an added extra and I, I recommend that to anyone stop stuff rubbing up against your fridge so that's bloody brilliant but as you can see they slide bloody beautifully there's a lot of weight in that one now I'll show you exactly what goes on and what he does as far as um, rollers go but look how nice now just to let you guys know I'm pretty sure he uses two Teflon strips underneath the side of the drawer and then two Teflon strips in the actual base and they just slide on each other and I just give him a bit of a silicon spray every couple of weeks or a month or two and it just keeps it sliding beautifully I mean look at that absolutely beautiful and I reckon another um, added bonus with the Teflon strips are that um, you save a lot of room, you save about, you know, 60 mil of draw space because there's no rollers on the side and nothing else to stuff up. It's just a, a simple system rubbing Teflon on Teflon. A bit like myself, very simple, just like to keep it, keep it nice and plain. <laughs> now another thing, um, I'm pretty sure it comes included, is the wing kit. That's just a nice piece of marine ply uh, sealed and covered in nice, uh, tough and durable carpet. You lift that straight out like that. There's three little triangle pieces there that hold it in place. That These panels come with it as well, so you can put your switches and fix your pump behind there and put a couple of Siggy plugs and all that there. Really good. Good the amount of room, especially in a my 76 series. You're struggling for room as it is, um, so you need to get every little nook and cranny sorted out for storage. <laughs> I think one of the best features drew me to uh, the drifter drawers in the first place was this little slide out um, table they're absolutely brilliant what an idea you know no one's really come up with something like that um, and let alone you know three to four years ago well, I think it might have even been five so um, it's a full retractable uh, stretcher table it's only small but it, it works for everything that I need to use it for um, all four legs are adjustable so if you've got the the most terrible ground you can just adjust it to whatever height you want it's absolutely brilliant I see RC these or WD 40 them reg quite regularly so just to keep them in good nick so absolutely awesome better than my kitchen bench I reckon <laughs> So just to show you guys the Teflon strips underneath, I'll pull the drawer out um, and show you underneath. It's a really smart idea. So as you can see, these are your two Teflon strips. They run in accordance with the other two Teflon strips in the base, which I'll show you as well. Um, but amazing, after three and a half years at least, how nice and smooth they've stayed, um, but that, that's because I silicon spray them every month or two or um, when I know I've been on a particularly dusty track or whatever, but what a smart idea, eh? All that room there you'd probably lose 
for rollers in other draw systems, but God, changing the game, mate. Okay, guys, now that I've showed you through and told you all I can about them, it's time to go through the pros and cons of this product. Now, pro for me straight away is the Teflon sliders. They're smooth for a start. Um, they save, uh, save room on rollers. You get about 60 mil per draw um, of width, which is really good. Another pro is they're extremely hard wearing. They're so durable. I mean, three and a half years, you guys see in the tracks that we go on, the, the amount of things that have rattled around in there, absolutely brilliant. And they're still in great nick. Still in great nick. They are 100% Aussie made over in New South Wales um, by Drifter. And I like to support Aussie companies wherever I can, you know, as far as grab me gear goes as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on them bags in a couple of months after I've got a bit of use on them. But always, I always try and go um, for the Aussie companies when I can. Um, and I'll tell you what, the price as well is probably another pro because you look at those Outback drawers, yeah, they're bloody nice drawers, but they're quite expensive, I feel. I know they're, they're really great. I'm not taking that anything away from them. But these are nice mid-priced uh, drawers. They are also really easy to install. Um, I got them sent over as I'm interstate. Um, if you don't get drifted to install them, it's no problems to install them yourself. And it ties down to original Toyota points. Easy peasy, mate. If I can do it, any one of you guys can. Another one. Slide out draw. So bloody practical. Uh, the amount of times that I've used that and it's sort of made it so easy. While everyone's setting up their little tables and stuff. I'm just sliding that out, making my lunch on it. You'd see it in many of our videos. Absolutely brilliant. Actually, one of the main reasons I got these drawers. Uh, another one. Fully customizable drawers. You can you, you can ask for this drawer to be 25 mil, 18 mil higher. Uh, you can have them stacked on top of each other. Anything you want, it's fully customizable. That's another thing you can't get with a lot of uh, these other companies, you know. Fully lockable latches. Um, not as though I ever have ever locked them. <laughs> I don't know why, because I can lock the car. But uh, And I don't know why anyone would want to steal a bloody camp oven and a half packet of eating bloody twisties. Um, yeah, fully lockable. I don't know if that helps you, but it's absolutely awesome. And as far as cons go, I know this is going to sound bad, but I I'm just going to be honest with you. I actually can't think of any cons for this set of drawers um, at all, just because they've been so good to me. Three and a half years, mate, clunking around in the back of this car, um, and there's nothing I can pick up that's wrong with them at all. The latches are still so damn strong. Um, I Keep in mind that I do WD-40 and I try and look after them the best I can. Um, but no, I can't think of any cons. Um, so I definitely 100% recommend these drawers. But here's a tip that I would uh, recommend to anyone. Have a think about what you want to do as far as before you spend that money on these. Have a think about the configuration you want. If I had my time again, I would have put this drawer straight on top there. Straight on top there so that my fridge would be down at floor height. I mean, yeah, I know I could get a drop down slide, but I just, <laughs> I'm a tight ass and I just can't justify six to seven hundred dollars for a drop down slide. Um, I was looking at the tilt ones and I still might do that now. I think that's my only option. Um, but if I had my time again, I'd quickly move that over to there. You'd have a nice big wing uh, down the side there. Drawers still high enough that you can see the top and you'd have your fridge nice down at this height here because I'm a short ass as it is and I need all the height I can. But that about wraps the review up guys and I hope I provided enough information for you guys. Hit the uh, comments below if there's anything or any, any questions you want to ask. I, I can answer them to the best of my ability. But 100% a brilliant, brilliant product. Anyway guys, I'll see you on the next review and the next trip video. Thank you so much for your support. Have a mint day, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.